In this video, I am going to fully awaken the quake fruit. I spent 3 days just to grind 1150 gems. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, are you ready guys? Let's start. Where the actor slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dump. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So again guys, we are going to fully awaken this quake fruit. So for the first challenge, you need to defeat the awakened quake fruit user guys every time you get hit by this skill there you go this is called the end we're gonna showcase that later don't be shocked okay only hard part here is you need to dodge two sets of double waves so how do you do it guys just activate your observation hockey use your observation hockey when he uses the wave he's gonna use it twice in a row okay okay so now again i'm gonna show it to you let's check this out Okay, okay, we've dodged the first set and he's gonna use another one. Wait for it. There you go. So, again, eight dodges is enough to dodge eight waves. And I think that's the only hard part in fighting this mob. That skill, the end, it's okay to get hit, guys. You won't die from that. But the waves, you need to dodge it. Okay? Okay, so now let's say we've already defeated it. Now, time to unlock. Guys, you need 1,150 to fully awaken it. The first time that I tried to awaken it, I only have like 530. I based it on the bomb fruit, but I was shocked. You need 1,000 plus gems. For the initial 500, I unlocked the V skill, the double wave, awakened form, and the C skill, the destroyer. Why? Those skills are useful in the golden arena. Guys, I keep on grinding for like another one day, full day. And then I was able to reach another 500 gems. And now I think we are ready to fully awaken it. And with grinding in the golden arena, I was able to unlock the legendary accessory. You see that? The necklace. Well, anyway, that's for another video. Now let's awaken it. Okay, there you go. 500. Okay, so let's start. First off, the crack ball. This is the unawakened form. There you go. That's the range. I'm just showing you the range. I really love the name crack ball. Slow mo version. There you go. I want to see the damage. There you go. Okay, this is the full range. The damage is 8,000, guys. 8,000. And you need 50 gems to awaken it. Okay, for the stats, here are my stats. Oh, no. 900 melee. Why? Because I want to jump four times. That's enough to dodge the skills in the Golden Arena. So we're going to unlock it. 50 gems. There you go. For the first skill, the Crack Ball. So again, this is the new crack ball, the awakened form. It looks better when uh, holding it or charging it or whatever. And then the range is quite longer. It looks better. Looks like a beam or a key blast from Dragon Ball Z for those who are watching it or who've watched it. There you go. The damage now is 11,000. Okay, from 8,000, it became 11,000. Longer range and stronger damage now for the second skill we have this smack floor wow it, this looks great this is the unawakened form so with one smack floor you get three waves three sets of damages but different damage per wave the first wave has the strongest damage i'm gonna show it to you okay there you go first wave 8,900 damage and the succeeding two waves 4,000. for an estimated damage of 17 to 18k not bad. So to awaken it, you need 100 gems. Not bad. Hmm. So this is the awakened form. Oh, it looks better now. It's like you're looking in your foot. There you go. Guys, did you see the range? There's a timer. Because this skill now has a stun. And you can stun your enemy for 7 seconds. That's quite long to be honest. Okay. You see that? It looks cooler too. So for the damage, the damage is 15,000. It's kind of lower, but again, guys, it has a stun. Again, remember, single damage, comparing it to the unawakened form, you need to hit your enemy three times just to inflict 15 to 17k damage. For the third skill, guys, we have the Destroyer. This is my previous favorite skill. There you go. A fan shape type of skill. There you go. So for the damage... The damage is 10,000. Not bad. So let's awaken this one. Okay. 200 gems to awaken it. It also has a stun. 
for more than 7 seconds and as you see that for the unawakened form fan shape here you can damage and stun everyone around you better range and it also has a stun but the damage is only 4000 okay so i want i hope that they increase this <laughs> but it's fine it has a stun next up the v skill the double wave with this pose i'm always remembering whitebeard shout out to whitebeard so i include the timer for us to check the time the wave hits the casting point so there you go 8 9 10 12 seconds. 12 seconds before it hits the casting area or casting point. Go for the damage. Let's check it out. Fast forwarded version. There you go. Two 10k damages. Not bad. 20,000 plus. Okay, so now let's awaken it. 300 gems. Now let's compare first the casting time and the moment that the wave hits your enemy. Guys, there are four waves in this awakened form. Now you need 6 seconds just to hit your enemy faster. Go oh, and again, guys, the damage. I want to show you the damage. Okay, let's go. 6 sec again, 6 seconds for the wave to arrive in the casting area or casting point. Boom. Wow. Almost 44,000, 42,000, 43. Not bad. So next up, we have the last skill. The end for 500 gems. Almost as expensive as the bomb fruit for just one skill. Bomb fruit awakened. So we need to reset. And there you go. B skill end. So is it worth it? You're about to find out, guys. So this is how you look like when you're holding the B skill, the end. And the moment that you release it, there you go. Do you see that? The camera will focus on your character. I didn't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you. Here you go. We have two mobs here. We're gonna use the B skill. Boom, again, autofocus on your character. And both of those mobs will be sent flying to you. Okay, so I can I'm thinking of a combo here. There I go. Gamer no can you use this in PvP? Yes guys, I I tried it. Don't worry, I'm gonna show it to you. So we have here again my brother. There you go. So I use the skill, right? Boom. This is what happened. This point of view. So the moment that I use a skill. Boom, this happened. And there's a, there's a mini stun too. Oh, and this is the X skill, I think. There you go. Oh, okay, so what I want to clarify is can you remove the autofocus when you use the end? So I tried this. My brother is there using the flame. Oh no, the, dra the flame claw. There you go. So with this range, you won't be able to hit him. But see that? I was able to hit this one. So this is like a mid to long range skill. So I think that's it for the video. Again guys, thanks for all your support. I really appreciate you all. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.